cloud. Okay, so I think we're recording now. So let's go ahead and we're gonna share uh, the screen. Let's see. We'll share our PowerPoint, which is here. Okay, can everyone see the PowerPoint? Nod, okay, <laughs> <laughs> sweet. So thanks for coming and joining our Summertime Essentials class. This is so fun. We get to just kind of hang out virtually with you guys and, and have a cup of tea. I had coffee in here earlier, but it's cold. So now nah, you won't see me drinking out of that anymore. <laughs> um, we're just going to basically uh, kind of touch over, go over some of the best essential oils to use in your summertime <coughs> routine. So as we go through my... Lovely partner Chris here is going to chime in. And I'm going to give the male's perspective for those poor husbands out here that have to uh, hear about all the oils and things like that and how it contributes to the wellness of my life. And, uh, <laughs> he keeps us laughing, which is Indeed. the best. Um, so everybody here knows us, but we're recording so that we can put it up for people who haven't seen it. So we're going to go ahead and introduce ourselves real quick. We'll be really short and sweet, and then we'll get into the presentation. So for those of you who are watching and don't know me, I'm Charity, and I am a registered nurse. I specialize in OB, but my, I guess you could say my side hobby or passion is essential oils. And I've always been kind of obsessed with natural health and that kind of thing. So essential oils kind of just fell right into that. And I've been playing around with those for about five years. And so I hope to share some of my knowledge and expertise with you guys. If you, if you have any questions, feel free to chime in and ask anything. And Type I'm Chris it. Martin. It's hard to follow that introduction. I was holding a uh, veteran sign outside of Walmart that <laughs> said, we'll work for food. And Whatever. this pretty lady... <laughs> She uh, snatched me up and uh, here I am helping her with an essential oils class. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it went back in 1996. Um, it's been actually, a while. So high school is actually how we met and he's been my bestest friend. Yeah, I can't then. find out how to get rid of her, but I'll keep trying. He's also a healthcare worker. He's a cardiopulmonary specialist. And you want to tell him a little bit about that or no? No. Okay. It's all on you. All right. So we'll just, if anyone has health related questions, we can be your go-to people. So welcome. We are so glad you're here. <laughs> this is so fun to share over the internet um, so that you don't have to be going, getting a babysitter, driving to a class. So this is our very first one. If you are joining us, we thank you for bearing with us through all the little growing pains and glitches and all that kind of stuff. So um, what we hope to do today is sort of give you a little brief introduction to uh, why we chose doTERRA essential oils over other ones because, oh, I, I left that out of my introduction for those that, of you that don't know, I did used to have an Etsy shop and uh, I made essential oil and herbal products for people. 52 of them, 52 <laughs> products she ended up making. Yeah, it, it became a little too burdensome, so instead of, I actually sorted sort of started dreading my hobby and, and who wants to do that. So I decided to, instead of, you know, helping or just providing their products for people, I wanted to switch my focus to educating people on how to use essential oils themselves. And so, um, yeah, so that's why I decided to, to join up with doTERRA and, and hopefully teach you guys how to empower yourself with the knowledge of essential oils. So, why did we choose doTERRA, Chris? Oh. Do you want to tell me? <laughs> so we got, we got overwhelmed with the products from the Etsy shop. And uh, I was working full time and I generally worked between 40 and, and 80 hours a week at the hospital. And this was su supposed to be something that was really fun for her and she could do to keep her busy when I was away. And it became overwhelming for all of us. I would uh, get home from work and help her put labels on products and, and help her fulfill orders and run things to the post office. And that wasn't, uh, I don't think that was exactly what we were after. What we were trying to do is just provide people with 
natural wellness products that actually worked and that they could utilize and take into their own house and use instead of some of the other medications. For example, like Advil that you would take. Advil especially has, has been under big scrutiny right now for various reasons and some of the side effects that it has. And she made a joint and muscle uh, pain salve, if you will, salve, salve, yeah. pain salve, salve. Mm -hmm. that had remarkable results in lots of people with arthritis and people that were getting older that were active, they would use it and they were able to be more active and continue to do things that they like. Like her father still is windsurfing and he's 60, 67, 68. 68 now. He's 68 years old and he would get kind of sore because that's what us old people do. <laughs> we all get a little more sore now compared to when we were young. And so anyways, long story short, we got too busy and it was overwhelming and we decided to find an avenue that we could utilize in order to continue to spread our natural wellness concept and just our passion and for, our passion the essential for it and take it to a bigger level than what we could do ourselves in our we own can, kitchen we can reach more people this way just through education and then getting the oils into people's homes and then teaching them how to use them and basically anything i made doTERRA makes so it's really great it was really cool for me when i discovered them and i was looking through the product catalog and i'm like oh my god every single thing that was in my etsy shop is so in our instead of using our catalog. popcorn pan to brew up a batch of 50 of those doses of the pain sap that i was talking about earlier now we can just show people how to get to a company that has just as good and reliable results with their with their uh, as good as efficacy with their products as ours did. And that was exciting to, to me, and it was exciting to you, too. For sure. And, and we're really yeah. kicking it off right and now. And so the, the other thing that was super important to me was that the oils were potent and effective. And I, I actually never ingested essential oils before I came across doTERRA because I was a little afraid of the contaminants or fillers that were in other, product, in other essential oils since there is no regulating agency for them. We decided... Uh, and it wasn't even too much that we were scared to ingest it because she made a lot of home concoctions that we ingested, but to put that out in a, in a marketplace, it left me a bit cautious being the, the medical-minded guy. And uh, doTERRA's products are tested and... In a, in a third party, they have third party testing for purity, efficacy, and potency. So all the fears yeah. that I had with our own homegrown products for distribution and selling, I, I don't have them at all, at all with uh, doTERRA products. So that was a good relief for me at least. Also their sourcing is uh, what they call co-impact sourcing. So they, they believe that the plant should be grown and harvested in the, the native country of origin, which is really important important because when you, you know, tropical, you know, plants are not supposed to be grown in the desert. So I believe that, you know, they were indigenously grown around different parts of the world in different climates for a reason. And um, they should still be continued to be harvested and grown in those areas. So doTERRA actually partners with these uh, cold, these farmers in the native countries of origin to source the plants and get them distilled for us so that we get the the best most high but quality. if if you're watching this and you're from texas know that if and if if an oil was grown in texas it's probably better and that's oh, only sure. for the texans <laughs> they do like <laughs> texans are a little proud but i think actually the utah people are the proud ones so. well you know, you're not gonna get into that are you so uh, well, I haven't played this from here yet. We're going to try to play this video um, and let the medical officer tell you his two cents on... So when we talk about quality, it's not always about what the video? you're doing. You have to look at the whole oh, process and okay. what that means okay. collectively. Oh, I and I believe that doTERRA does that better than anyone else. doTERRA is the best company in the industry right now. I mean, they're the leaders. I mean, there's no one that's really coming close to doing what they're doing. I haven't seen anything like it in my 20 years of being in this industry of a company going to the lengths that they go to to secure the best oil in the world. 
Doterra's commitment to quality starts well before the uh, plants are even distilled. Uh, through our co-impact sourcing, the CPTG process starts then. And, and then it goes through a, a three-tier testing process uh, that starts with outside labs and, and finishes off inside the company here, and then continues on after the bottles are sold. Uh, we do several layers of testing, including uh, GCMS, optical rotation, specific gravity, refractive index, chiral testing, carbon-14, probably more extensive than just about any lab out there. I've been doing research with essential oils for about 15 years now. So I work with a lot of oils and a lot of tests. And um, the one thing that I've noticed consistently is that unless you're starting with an oil that has a consistent quality, you're not going to get good results. You know, a lot of our oils are used in aromatherapy or topical use. So we want to make sure that we do not only make a product that's um, um, effective, but it's also going to be safe. And that's why we, we um, do a thorough analysis to, to, to look at the composition to make sure that it is safe. But at the same time, we also go ahead and do skin irritation testing, which is also called as uh, the rip testing or repeat insult patch testing, to make sure that when you apply it on topically, it's not irritating you to, to your skin. To a wellness advocate, we are we always keep them in mind, and we we talk about it in our training. And what matters is that the details matter. You know, quality is in the details, and so because we're so passionate and so detailed, we're sure not to miss those things that are going to make the difference between just an okay product and a great product. We stand behind our quality processes because we have the most in-depth and knowledgeable staff. We have set the standard for what the quality process should be. The testing knowledge that is gained uh, as well as passed on at each bottle is, you, you cannot measure. One of the things that I've recognized uh, about the quality of essential oils and the testing is that it's a dynamic environment. It's changing. And this is why it's so important that doTERRA leads the front, that doTERRA is developing and processing and coming up with new ways, new opportunities to prove out the quality of essential oils and frankly, in a way that no other company is able to do. As we continue to grow, as we continue to expand throughout the world, I'm proud to say that doTERRA has made that commitment and will not waver or deviate from that. Cool. I always like the little videos. I think they do a good job. No, I think it's, oopsie, uh-oh, so there's a little glitch. Okay, oops. We are. Okay. It's okay. an infused oil test. It's so we infuse it with uh -oh. a different frequency set for the doTERRA. Like um, over here, it's been charging for about 10 minutes. I've also uh, <laughs> used the laser on it as well for a little bit here okay, as well. Now, if you remember on? from the previous video, uh, the volatility it's penny the drop test video. to check volatility. Okay. Whoops, sorry. Yeah. It's okay. It's part of it. Okay. We'll try to share again. Hold on. Share. PowerPoint, we're human, there we go. Okay, cool, we're back. I think we're back to where we're supposed to be here. Except that I want this to go over to the side. All right, there thanks. we go. Okay, so they actually are sourcing over 100 essential oils from more than 40 nations now. And this is really cool as part of a, when you are part of the wellness advocate, part of the doTERRA family and you're a wellness advocate, you can actually go on mission trips to some of their sourcing farms. You can help put fresh water into these communities and you're really giving back, making the world a better place. So that was something that really drew me to the company. I, I really long to be part of something that's bigger than myself and to give back because when I, I feel like when I get into a place where I'm just maybe living for myself and my family, which is great. I know it's a full-time job to serve my family, my husband and my kids. Um, I still feel like an urge to give, to give more of myself to others. So I think it's now my, you know, my passion and my mission to hopefully change the world in some positive no, way. But so. you changed the world 
every day. I know. You know I mean? <laughs> but we're going to be, you know, hopefully doing it through this as well. So how do you use essential oils? Anyone can, can chime in if you want to. You can do it in the chat or unmute yourself um, and tell me your favorite way, perhaps, of using essential oils. Anyone want to chime in? If you don't, that's totally cool. Um, the three like most popular methods of use are going to be topical, aromatic, and internal. Uh, the third one, internal, I would absolutely never take an essential oil internally, really unless it was doTERRA <laughs> essential oil, because I'm not going to put anything inside of my body with that kind of potency unless I know that it's unaltered, pure, and therapeutic. I feel like it's medicine, and I regard it and respect it in that kind of a way. And so the oils are very, very potent. That's another thing. If you haven't heard, uh, you know, we love, I love herbs. I also went to herbalism school and I respect herbs and plants as well. But if you were to look at the efficacy of, you know, Michelle, we love tea, right? So here's a fun fact that you're going to love is that it takes one drop, only one drop of peppermint oil to have the potency and efficacy of 28 cups of peppermint tea. And so you, you can just see really easily that the, the oils are just powerful. They're just more powerful. It's, it's, it's a much more concentrated version of the plant itself. And the essential oil itself is made of the same molecules that our body is made out of, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So there's nothing foreign in the essential oil. It's still all a molecular compound that our body recognizes and can adapt to and assimilate into our body in the most effective way possible. So <clears throat> um, topically, we'll just talk briefly. Of course, topically is just like it sounds. So when I was making my body creams and salve, and body butters, lotions, things like that, you can also make roller balls and just roll them right onto your skin. Um, the actual molecule of the essential oil is small enough to be absorbed directly into the bloodstream within about 20 seconds. So you're going to get an effect, you know, the essential oil actually will be present in your bloodstream, um, affecting and, and being effect in within 20 seconds. So it's very fast acting, even topically. Say effective again. <laughs> it's very effective. <laughs> effective in your effective skin, effectively in your skin. Okay, stop. It's all right. So, uh, also aromatically, there's two ways you can do that. So I love to just put one or two drops in my hand, kind of rub it together and then go like this. Or when I'm doing it to him, I'm like, here, smell this. <laughs> and I may, I, I'll put him in my hands and sort of shove him in his face. Like, here, you need some essential oil. <laughs> <laughs> um, or one of our favorites is just to put them in the diffuser and diffuse them into the home. They really change the mood of the home. They're going to purify the air and just sort of make it smell good. Act yeah. on that limbic system. So, but, you know, if you were to get great, you know, grocery store oils, you're just going to get perfume. But when you actually diffuse an essential oil, you're you, even smelling it will still absorb up into your bloodstream and into your um, affect the limbic system in your brain, which is where our emotions are. So it really does change the emotional aspect of the room. <clears throat> so on to the summertime essentials. So I'm pretty excited about this because we're outdoorsy people. We live uh, on land and a lot of these products are on a daily basis. Is it, uh, so we're talking about outdoor products and we're talking about summer especially. And summer brings out the bugs and summer brings out the outdoor activities that make some of us kind of sore, if you will, if you're going to till your garden or pull a bunch of weeds or go wakeboarding. For me, uh, the first two trips of wakeboarding every year show me every muscle I didn't know I had. <laughs> And uh, yes. the, the following morning after a solid wakeboarding session, it, it definitely leaves me uh, longing for some of these products that my, my wife has. And I'm like, where is that one thing that you put on my deep shoulder? Blue. So yeah, and she just what he's talking about is the deep blue rub. So that's the first one we're going to actually talk about is, has anyone ever tried the deep blue rub for sore muscles or aches? 
you know, I actually, <laughs> I hate to say I'm going to be 37 soon. And I try to run still. And I get <laughs> these little well. heel spurs in my heel. And, you know, when I get out of bed first thing in the morning, it's like, I can't even walk on my heels. So I've been rubbing that deep blue cream into my heels. And wouldn't you know, within like a day, it was totally gone. So it really, really helps, especially for the wakeboarding, sore muscles or, or hiking. Um, it's perfect for that kind of thing. So we've had a few people that are friends, good friends of ours that are incredibly uh, powerful runners. They, they do marathons and some of them do more than marathons. And, and they, they used, they used her magic wall that she had in her Etsy shop. And as soon as she closed her Etsy shop, everybody was like, no, no, no. That was, that was what I used to, to get better. And, mm -hmm. and, and charity would say, no, I have something else. Don't you worry. And she's put them on, she's put them on the deep blue and they're just as satisfied. So. Yeah. But if anyone ever, I mean, that's the cool thing too, is that we hope I want to be able to share my recipes. I spent a lot of time researching and investigating, you know, how to make the most effective blends to, to cure people or not cure. And we can't say cure, but we can remedy or treat people for their oh, minor you can dang sure take the sore muscles away. You, and you can say take, we can fix your sore muscles. You can't say cure, but right. it, it works. So hope, you know, if anyone wants my recipe, I am in the sharing business. And so if, if I do have um, recipes that I think eventually we'll make a little recipe. And I think like some of the that. things that we've noticed since switching from her brand to a different brand is that it, it used to take a lot more drops of mm -hmm. the non doTERRA brand oils. Yep. And, and these weren't like a Walmart supermarket brands. No, they were still, they like were still a high quality grade. oil, but uh, the doTERRA brand is incredibly powerful. So we found that we can get just as good of relief of the symptoms with just less drops. So it's not that hers didn't do a good job because it sure did. And we still have people, at my work all day long, he's like, hey, is she still making blah, blah, blah? And I'm like, well, no, but we've got something else. A anyways, moving on. Yeah, so the other thing that is helpful for the great outdoors is lavender, which of course, if you've worked hard all day in your garden or hiking, you want some restful sleep. Also, it's a powerful antihistamine. And also anything with your skin, if you have skin irritations, you got hives, you broke, you got into some poison ivy or something That's like that on your hike. Me. Yeah. When we first yeah. moved into our property, we had a whole bunch of poison ivy on the bottom of the, of the, of the property where I was trying to keep it mowed down so that we could get rid of the weeds and then bring up the coastal grass for the cows to eat. And guys, when they're out mowing the lawns or the yard, if you will, and you get poison ivy on your hands, uh, we don't squat to pee. So if you're out in your pasture, <laughs> you're going to use your unwashed hands with poison ivy on them. And I'm just well, saying. You're, you're getting very specific. There. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> the lavender has helped me with some very intimate areas of my body and provided a great deal of relief. Really good. Yes. So, all right, I'll shut up. <laughs> Hey, um, I'm telling you, there's guys out here or women who have listened to their men be like, oh, I've got this rash because I got poison ivy. Poison ivy goes places you don't like you it don't to go. You don't want it to go. That is true. So maybe they can help them out. It was yes, important to I me. I agree. I agree. We should keep going. All right. My bad. <laughs> So Terra Shield, uh, the one in the picture, that is our other, uh, that is our insect repellent blend. Uh, we'll actually, so right before we get started with the recipes, I will be sharing some specific recipes throughout the presentation. So if y'all want to go real quick um, before we do that and grab a notebook and a pen, so you can write some of them down. Um, and if you be. don't have that now, everyone has our email and they know how to get a hold of us. So just remember what recipe you wanted and we'll be glad to get back to you later and help you out with that. Yes. She has some potions. A lot of my friends call her the, the witch doctor. <laughs> And I'm okay with that because she's helped so many people and so many people come keep coming back for more recipes. So anyways, moving along. Moving on. Uh, the, one you, the other one you see in the picture is called Tri-Ease. And this is basically just a blend of lavender, lemon, and peppermint. We call it LLP in the oil world. And LLP is 
awesome for allergies. So uh, if you wanna make a roller ball with equal parts of lavender, lemon, and peppermint, and then just put uh, half essential oil and half carrier oil, um, I always like to use fractionated coconut in my roller balls because it lasts the longest. Um, you can do that and then you know do the double trouble. So when you're out mowing the grass and dealing with weeds or weeding the garden, you're gonna need the pills, the soft gels, and the oils all over your skin. Um, and then Digest Zen, that is pretty much, <laughs> not necessarily even just a summertime one. We pretty mm. much mentioned Digest Zen in every, every single So for those of you with irritable bowel, the last thing you wanna do is be wakeboarding <laughs> and get that urge to go number two. Why am I always stuck with these embarrassing things? How can <laughs> you quit talking and that's my turn? You're the one disclosing all of that. <laughs> yeah, but you totally stopped when we talked, when we got to digest. And anyways, I have a, yeah, yeah. I can get irritable bowel at times, and I think it has to do with drinking coffee to stay awake for long shifts, shifts at the hospital, and uh, perhaps a bit of stress along with that. And the, the digest Zen is one of my favorite, one of my favorite oils from doTERRA that I've been using a whole lot of and finding great relief with uh, easing my irritable bowel symptoms. So there you go. Yeah, let's not even go into many more. Yeah, than that, that's right? good. <laughs> uh, On guard is our protective blend, <laughs> immune en immune enhancing blend. So when your allergies, allergies actually, if you didn't know this, when you have a histamine response in your body, it actually will suppress your immune system a little bit. And so we are more prone to getting colds and viruses and. That's why sometimes during allergy season or hay fever season in the fall and the spring, we do come down with more colds and viruses and bugs. So it is a great time just to be diffusing that on guard in your home or rolling it on your feet at night and sort of just kind of keeping your immune system in check. So I think we can, those are the ones we are gonna highlight for now. Um, as far as active lifestyle, this is another one of our two favorite products. Mm -hmm. uh, the Deep Blue Rub is um, definitely a bestseller, and it's pretty much anybody who hikes, runs, bikes, wakeboards, So that Deep Blue like that. is exactly what I was talking about, the muscle, uh, muscle soreness remedy. But uh, she's saying that's the best. Like that's, she said, the best. But the Mito 2 Max, I've been using a lot. And I've, I've really found a, an increase in just my awareness and mm -hmm. my, uh, I mean, I can wake up, take my vitamins and Mito 2 Max is in our combo that we take every morning and evening yep. and not just a boost of energy, but more mental clarity, more mental clarity if I'm trying to say. Yeah, I like to call it my superwoman pill because- no, I, Don't call it that because I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna take pill. it again, I'm done with it. No <laughs> more Mito 2 Max. Yes, it's a, it's a superhuman pill. You just feel, I feel like ready to take on the day when I take Mito 2 Max. So if you want to stay active, if you are active, um, incorporating both of those. And then when you're too lifestyle. active, <laughs> then you have the, the deep, deep blue. blue. <laughs> there you go. Yes. <laughs> so did you know, since our oils are ingestible and we use them as forms of medicine or therapeutic um, relief or remedies for things, you can actually use them for cooking. And back in the day before, um, you know, I think even in the old days, like spices and Oh my gosh, they were traded like were gold. Traded like gold and silver. And so- Got any gold, got any silver? No, no but I but got I've coriander. Got <laughs> coriander and I've got cinnamon salt, and salt, salt, pepper, And curcumin. so um, incorporating them into your cooking is Lemon. something that I had not done also until I started using doTERRA products because I was once again afraid. I kind of thought of the oils as something you only put on your body and not into your body, into your mouth. Um, but you can't, some of the most- Speaking of like oregano. Ones, yeah, oh my goodness. In spaghetti sauce, so basil, anything you would use basil in, you can I'm make huge pesto. Oregano. Yeah, you can put the oregano, one drop, and you guys, because they're so strong, you know, your whole spice rack, you have to like pour a whole tablespoon or a teaspoon or whatever it is of spice into your food. One little drop and it will be like the most flavor you could ever imagine in your food. So 
you know, basil to make your pesto, a cilantro, coriander, thyme, rosemary, um, mm -hmm. marjoram, oregano. Um, definitely those are all great in things like spaghetti sauce or sauces. A lot of dips and sauces, even lemon and lime. You can spice up your hummus or um, other fun summer dips. Yeah, this one we're trying to like focus on cooking, but the, the thing that she's talking and I was thinking like, you know what, when, when I'm talking about cooking your food, <clears throat> one of the most important things as far as I'm concerned for just natural health and wellness is staying hydrated. And I'm the worst water drinker ever. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have been taking either grapefruit drops or lemon drops in my water. And mm -hmm. I found that I've drank more water in the last probably, uh, how long we've we been two months with doTERRA uh, for two months. I've been more hydrated than I have been in probably the last five to 10 years. And yeah, I just put the water taste just so much for better. me, as far as like recipes, this is going to be, you're going to need to take down your notepad so you can write this recipe <laughs> down. I put two drops <laughs> of lemon in my water or I put two drops of grapefruit in my water and, First thing in the morning, especially, um, lemon and grapefruit are both detoxifying and purifying. They sort of wake up your senses. I notice I, I like wake up. I almost don't need, I'm a coffee addict. She doesn't almost not need coffee. <laughs> I have noticed. I don't Since need I'm coffee. Since I'm talking about coffee. irritable bowel and getting poison ivy on my private parts, this woman's going to keep doTERRA can make a coffee and she'll start drinking that coffee but, if they uh, would make coffee i would be in heaven <laughs> <laughs> i'm almost gonna start taking my lips no no no. I, I mean like so i used to not be able to get out of bed without the coffee on my bedside table and now i can actually get up yeah, take my thanks to me i take her coffee water. and i aromatherapy it right in her face so she's like okay if not she's cranking pants but the lemon and lime, the lemon and grapefruit oil are great and they me. really keep <laughs> hydrated moving along <laughs> oh my goodness you're killing me she so me. uh ways to stay cool so you guys oh my god if besides you don't have hanging out with me oh that yeah that will keep you that'll cool. keep you really cool or inside the air conditioning That's um better. if you're outside by the pool if you put a couple of drops of peppermint in your water or you can even make green tea and then put a drop of peppermint in there it's like actually so cool and i even like peppermint in my water whether i'm hot just or water or it's so it's delicious it's so cooling and refreshing. And then you can also just take peppermint in a little uh, spray bottle with some water, spritz it on the back of your neck, on the bottoms of your feet. And, and you'll smell you're... exactly like a candy cane, I promise. Yeah, and you'll smell like a candy cane. <laughs> and it will stay so much cooler. <laughs> it is super, super awesome. So that one, I would not leave home without my peppermint in the summer. So here's where you're going to need your, your notepad and your pen. So if you don't have it, um, oh, they actually, uh, I was thinking I was just gonna have to read it off to you guys, but they actually have it up there. We'll leave this slide up um, for a little while so you can see the recipe. If you wanna just take a screenshot, you can do that. Um, when you see FCO, that is fractionated coconut oil, and you don't have to use fractionated coconut oil, any carrier oil will work. And in fact, there are some, uh, there are some oils that have a natural SPF, one of them being, um, well, shea butter, that's a butter, but shea butter has a pretty, a pretty high natural SPF, as well as um, evening primrose, and I know raspberry seed oil, I'm pretty sure if I can remember right, that one has a really high um, natural SPF in it. So I always, when I was uh, making our natural sunscreens, I used those oils as well. And then the beeswax is going to make it um, sort of have that uh, waxy feeling or just going to actually give it some form. So what you're going to do in case you don't know, so this one does have shea butter. Um, if you have a double boiler, you're going to take all of your, I always start with my beeswax because it takes, mm -hmm. the, takes longest the longest to melt. So you're going to put your um, half a quarter of a cup of beeswax in a double boiler, get it liquid, and then you'll start adding in your carrier oils. You don't even have to use olive oil. You can literally use jojoba, argan, avocado oil, um, almond, sweet almond oil. There are so many amazing oils that you can use. So um, don't feel like this is like, oh, it has to be olive oil and fractionated coconut. No. 
choose whatever oils you have on hand. Um, but basically the, the ratio here is three quarters of a cup of oil to a quarter cup of beeswax and two tablespoons of shea butter, which um, actually a tablespoon is 15 mils. So it's one ounce. If you have a, a scale and you want to, I always weighed things instead of measuring them with tablespoons and cups. Um, and so you would do, this would be four ounces of olive oil and a quarter cup is two ounces and two ounces of beeswax, just in case you're yeah. weighing. That's and how I always did it. We've got that up there. And you can screenshot this and then make your... Uh, so where I was going was um, add all your, then add all your oils. Homemade sunscreen. Add your shea butter very last and don't let the shea butter stay on the heat for too long or it will, when it dries, it gets really grainy mm -hmm. and yucky. I learned this the hard way as well. But I mean, on a sunscreen, that wouldn't be. So that happened for us in our lip balms that we were making and selling on Etsy. This is a little bit, I mean, it, it may be grainy. So that's a perfect tip, but it's not gonna ruin and not provide the right. SPF protection. If, so if, you're, if your stuff gets grainy, it's not ruined. It's still gonna you work, still yeah. Um, and then at the very end, you're going to take it off the heat and then you add your zinc oxide, your vitamin E and your um, drops of essential oil. And this one calls for helichrysum because, and helichrysum is a very expensive oil, but it is like king of cellular regeneration and renewal and healing. So it's going to heal those. Helichrysum is not a rock band, even though it sounds like it would be perfect. Right. Hey, Helichrysum. I never, I never thought about that. I've been that. touring with Helichrysum for the last two years. No big deal. So, uh, after sun spray. So, you accidentally... She didn't think that was funny at all. What did you say? I said it was touring with Helichrysum. <laughs> You're like, moving along. Moving along. I love you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so say you accidentally didn't. So this yourself. is my problem right here and I'll take over. So I go to the lake and I know on the way to the lake, I'm taking my fisher buddies, which is generally my lily bug and hunter. Before I go, I've got this mental focus and clarity because, you know, I had my lemon water in the morning, which was almost as good as coffee, but not really. I probably still had four <laughs> cups of coffee. Coffee. So when I woke up, I was I only on point. One cup of coffee now. I was on four. point. So I, I get the sunscreen all over my kids, and then we start catching fish. And then I forgot that sunscreen even existed. Or, yeah. And then the fish are still biting. So I'm still not thinking about it. And by the time about two o'clock in the afternoon, the fish kind of quit biting and we're not catching anything anymore. Everybody's sunburned. And we're all burnt. I'm like, oh, Charity's gonna kill me. And so thank goodness when I come home. We have a cooling after sun spray we can make. So this one, the recipe's actually not posted. So listen closely. You're going to want to fill a bottle, uh, a four ounce bottle. Four I, ounce bottle. Four ounce bottle with, al I love aloe juice or aloe gel. You can use either one, but aloe is so healing and soothing <clears> to <throat> the skin. So fill your bottle, your four ounce bottle with aloe juice or aloe gel, and then just add equal parts of lavender, peppermint, and frankincense. And I like to do between so 10 and 20 let's go over this. Lavender, peppermint, and frankincense, because you're talking a million. She had coffee before this presentation. So lavender, peppermint, and frankincense in a four ounce bottle. Yes. Right. Of aloe. Of that aloe. easy that easy so you can you can adjust the the drops it's really nothing scientific um 10 to 20 drops make it how you want it but those three oils are going to soothe heal and cool your skin after you get and it works sun exposure. all right but the bass were they were biting so it was worth it hand sanitizer can i get a whoop whoop who loves hand sanitizer i like my <laughs> kids to eat dirt i'll be honest uh, it's okay to eat dirt but in the in the healthcare field, we get exposed to some pretty pretty nasty bugs, and sometimes it's really really good to keep your hands clean. Or when you go to Walmart. So uh, the most recent literature has proven that the alcohol-based sanitizers are better than washing the hands because people just don't soap up and foam up good enough when they're scrubbing, and then they run their hands under the water and they just quick 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 get the soap off and they're done. But when you're putting something like an alcohol-based uh, hand sanitizer or something that's natural you're really going to have to rub that 
into your hands and do my stuff. I'm gonna rub that in your hands. Rub it like this right here. And uh, based on what you're putting in it, doTERRA's come up with a pretty good blend. You go ahead and yeah. So talk get your, your your pen ready. You're gonna take a one ounce bottle, one or two ounce, it doesn't matter, a small bottle, something that you can take with you in your purse because you're going to, get, going to want to keep it handy. If you can find a little one ounce spray bottle, I would use that. And then you're going to just put a four, quarter of a teaspoon of vitamin E that's going to preserve the oils. And you're going to do half water and half aloe vera, or I actually prefer half vodka and half aloe vera. I prefer that too. Um, vodka has natural, I mean, or rubbing alcohol, but vodka is a little gentler <laughs> on your skin. It's not as drying. So you can do half vodka and half, um, aloe vera gel, and then just add eight to 15 drops, how, whatever is your, whatever, or 10 to 20. I mean, yeah. make it as strong as you want, but you're going to do the on guard blend. So just take a one ounce bottle, a uh, spray bottle. You're going to do half alcohol, half aloe to kind of moisturize your hands, and then also uh, kill Because the alcohol is a quick evaporating substance, so it'll dry out your hands if you're using it all day. And then about 10 to 20 drops of On Guard essential oil, and then you just spray your hands. It smells so good. It smells like- Don't lick your hands Orange after and that clove, on and you can let your kids use it, not be worried, no. and it's great. Okay, onward. Onward. Traveling. Who's a traveler? I mean, I hate. I, I don't like the muted, and I can't even see them anymore. Where did they that. go? I don't they even know. They may not all be there anymore. <laughs> like, we're done listening to them. Oh wait, there we go. Wait, I want to see them. <laughs> Where are they? Okay. So right now, what we're doing because you can't see what we're looking at on the screen is we're I just looking at we're looking at slides. So they probably can see. But I'd like to hear them, but oh, well, we'll do. So the traveling must have, what we're talking about, and I'll get on this, is when you are local to your area, your body gets used to the germs and bacteria and viruses that are in that area. And I'll, I'll go ahead and run with this go one. Go for it. So in central Texas, which is where we are, we have certain strains of rhino. We have certain strains of enterovirus. We have certain strains of the influenza virus. We have... Haemophilus influenza, we have, oh goodness, Boca virus. We have so many viruses that can make you ill. But the, what I'm getting at is, if you're in that area for a decent amount of time, your body's gonna get exposed to those different viruses and different bacteria, and they're gonna start to create memory cells, memory Ts, and, and all the natural cells in your body, uh, the mediators, if you will, that are going to recognize that something's in your body that's foreign, and it's gonna attack that foreign uh, antigen, if you will. It's when you're traveling and your body's getting exposed to things that it doesn't recognize immediately, that it may have the time, the bacteria or the viruses may have the time inside of your body before your body recognizes it to start to replicate and to an extent that actually becomes pathogenic or virulent, meaning it's, uh, in the amount that makes you sick. So for us, like I'm a, as I was mentioning earlier about my veteran son, we'll work for food. When you go to boot camp or basic training, you're taking people from all over the United States and even out of the United States. There's people that, when I went to the boot camp, there were people from the Philippines and Thailand. So lots of different people are coming together into a little squad bay birthing area and Almost every single person will get sick in that eight week window because your body is not used to that specific antigen, that specific bacteria, that virus. Right. So we want to boost our immune system so when we, we want to travel. Boost our so immune that, system is, when we're traveling. that is the key. Because your body's getting exposed. You've been talking and now you're cutting me off. Uh, <laughs> some of these remedies actually came from way back when in the bubonic plague area, area era, there, there was a, a lot of thieves. So if, if they knew, if the, if the thieves were looking for a, a house that they figured that there was not gonna be much resistance uh, to stealing their, their items, they'd find someone that was sick. They'd find a family that was sick and they would smother their bodies with these specific oils uh, and then go in where other people, including the doctors back then, wouldn't enter the, the rooms. 
and they would still, I mean, that's a terrible thing, but they would still their objects. They'd still their household items and leave. And, and they were, that was really cool. They were, so I mean, it's not family. cool that they were stealing things, but it's cool that the oils worked so well that people were brave enough and they trusted the oils back then enough to actually smother their bodies with them and go in and loot houses. The looting house was terrible, but I mean, the power of- uh, What he was of, getting at is that the thieves would actually wear the clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, rosemary, mm -hmm. the, 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 the oil to They called, to it, they called it thieves from, oil back then because that was the combination of oils that they used when these thieves were robbing people. So it's a powerful, potent blend and Sherry's gonna give you the rest yeah. of Yeah, okay, so if you, this we call a travel or immune support blend. You take a five milliliter bottle, uh, roller bottle, uh, and if you had a 10 milliliter bottle, you would just double this recipe. Um, so you would do seven drops of frankincense, uh, seven drops of on guard blend, and that is our blend that has clove, cinnamon, rosemary, eucalyptus, and wild orange. Seven drops of the melaleuca. Seven drops of melaleuca, which is in the picture that you see, and seven drops of lemon. So, and then you just fill the rest with your fractionated coconut oil. And then you just would want to keep this in your bag or in your purse and just roll it all over you all the time. Smell it, put it on your hands. I everything. think this on specific blend, and this is just my opinion and it means nothing, is I like to have it on my wrist, behind my ears, uh, some place where, so put it this way, any place where your skin is thin, you're going to have a little bit more absorption. And that's why the, you think the about any, any place that it hurts to pinch. Or you can kind of see, like, if you can see your blood vessels really mm -hmm. easily through the skin, it's going to get into your bloodstream a little faster. If you put it on top of your arms Carry that arms. are exposed to the sun day in and day out, that, that dermis gets very tough. Also, the hands, uh, anyone suffer with sweaty palms or sweaty feet, you can appreciate that your hands and your feet have the largest pores in your body and so that's why we sweat more in our hands and our feet so those are going to have the highest rates of absorption as well so when we're applying oils for therapeutic value we do put them in the palms of our hands and on the soles of our feet and they get into our bloodstream a little faster that way and i like my wrist so if you want a recipe for a bug free summer you're going to want to uh, jot this little recipe down you will you'll get uh, a little bottle let's see what does it what does it say for the recipe 20 to 30 drops of terra shield no four ounce okay so that was what i was looking for so in a four ounce bottle um you do there you go 20, 20 to 30 drops of the terra shield 10 drops of lemon oil and 10 drops of the eucalyptus oil, which they consider optional, but I, I don't. The eucalyptus oil is such a powerful blend that's going to really help uh, chiggers and mosquitoes. And it depends on where you're at, but around here, we have a lot of chiggers and we have a lot of mosquitoes. And I have found personally that the eucalyptus blend, so... Well, specifically for mosquitoes, if you want the mosquito protection, you need to add lemongrass as well because lemongrass really helps with the mosquitoes. So I usually will do, um, I'll add the Terra Shield with lavender, lemongrass. I wouldn't and consider that to be uh, optional. I would use the eucalyptus and oil. Eucalyptus, mm -hmm. You could add that as well. And which Terra Shield does have some of that, mm -hmm. but we're just going to give it an extra boost those additional oils. And then you just, I prefer to fill mine up with witch hazel because I heard that, or read, studied that witch hazel is actually in and of itself a insect repellent. Um, and so you can use water if you don't have witch hazel on hand or alcohol. So we, um, we actually put this together and we tried it in Costa Rica. We went down for a vacation, her and I, we went to the jungle of Costa Rica. We wanted to explore and hear the howler monkeys and we went there and we didn't have a bug net. We didn't have anything. We stayed not in a hotel, not in a resort. We went straight to the jungle by bus. It was, a, it was an experience. We went straight to, uh, was it San Jose? And then we went south into the rainforest. And we spent we slept uh, outside. three nights That's outside. So and if we didn't have... A good bug A lot of people palette. slept with bug nets. But they had bug nets, to. and I, I can tell you, I got eaten alive more at Camp Lejeune than I did in Costa Rica, and I was really surprised. But uh, I used DEET, and I used, uh, what is the other bug spray that's popular? Any of the permethrin, the yeah. off bug sprays, that's what we used to use in Camp Lejeune, 
and uh, toxic stuff. I remember when I would come home with ticks all over me, chiggers galore, mm -hmm. and bugs, uh, mosquito bites everywhere. It's getting oh. dark in here. There's a lamp right above us. I'm gonna move on. Okay, so if you happen to lose, if you happen, yeah, to, if you happen to leave your bug spray at home and you get eaten alive, she's looking at me like that's something a dad would do again. All right. <laughs> Now I see why she invited me. <laughs> yes, I'm pretty bad at remembering sun, sunscreen and, and bug repellents after the first application, but anyways. So bite, uh, get, your, get your pen out again. I'm gonna give you another recipe. This is for a bite stick or bite be gone or whatever you wanna call it, something cute and catchy like that. Take your little roller bottle. If you have a five milliliter roller bottle, this is the recipe for that. And if you have a 10, just double it. So you'll take uh, 10 drops of basil, five drops of peppermint, five drops of lavender. That is it, the ones in the picture. So twice as much basil um, than lavender and peppermint. And then if it's a 10 milliliter bottle, you would just double it, 20 drops of basil and then 10 each of lavender and peppermint. And then you just fill the remaining of the bottle up with fractionated coconut oil and just roll it right over your bites. And it actually works mm -hmm. really, really good. You can put, I've heard of uh, recipes, I've seen recipes with eucalyptus in that as well. And that really helps too. There's a million different recipes. So mm -hmm. the cool thing about using essential oils too is that you can have, a, there's a lot of room for playing and being creative and, and trying out new things. So it really can be something you can have fun with. So any gardeners? Jordana. I know. Yes, Jordana, she's my gardening friend. <laughs> I, I personally have tried to do a garden and I, it's just not for me. It's not my gift. So I am just going to leave that to the gardeners of the world, and I'm very grateful She can't for them. keep plants alive inside the house. He's the one who does all the plant watering and all of that, and that's okay. We all have our gifts, right? Indeed, we do. <laughs> so if you want to um, – we have a list. We did print off a list of the, the pest control. <clears throat> all right, I'm not control. even going to get – I'm going to actually read this list to you. I'm not going to – Try to remember it by, by. Yeah, there's a lot of different ones. So if if you want to slow down, we'll try to do this as slow as possible. But yeah, she so. was talking about pest control, and I thought she meant for me to go to the bedroom or something like that. Like uh, that was the pest. The peppermint oil for the ants, sandalwood, white fur oils for the aphids, peppermint or thyme for the beetles, peppermint for the caterpillars. So I think we're seeing peppermint. We're seeing peppermint, a lot. Yeah, the bugs don't like peppermint. Um, uh, lavender, lemongrass, or peppermint for the chiggers. Mm -hmm. There's that yellow. I'll tell you what, though. And you want to have that on before you go into tall grass if you really want to prevent chiggers because they are. They are like. A once you have years. them. <laughs> Until your skin is bleeding because you've scratched it so much, they're they're. Uh, so that's why I like to add for the Terra Shield spray. I do or my bug spray. I do lavender, lemongrass, peppermint, and eucalyptus too. Fleas is lavender, lemongrass, and peppermint, and that works for your dogs also. Time for the cutworms, lavender, da, 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 da. basil, clove, eucalyptus, lavender, peppermint. So if you want more on pest control in your garden, just let us up. know. Yeah. Let us know and we'll see. We don't want to bore you with all yeah. those. Yeah. There's like a long list. Basically, there's lots of ways that you could prepare. Basically, pets. peppermint is really good and there's a lavender, whole bunch lemon of other lemongrass and peppermint. Yes. I think that was the recurring mm -hmm. thing there. Although there's one weird uh, there's a couple of different ones. Uh, patchouli for weevils. And snails too. Patchouli for snails also. I don't want to get rid of snails. I mean You would if they were eating your <laughs> cabbage. Okay, so summer recipe collection. We're also not going to go into a lot of different recipes. Um, we're going to probably just send you to the doTERRA website. If you go to doTERRA.com forward slash blog forward slash recipes, you can get a whole bunch. They have a whole bunch of awesome food recipes, mm -hmm. and that's not really going to be our focus today. No. But there you go. So now what? What time is it? Are we staying yeah, on time? Yeah, I was looking at it. It's 8.30. Oh, perfect. Okay, so it's been about an hour. So we're going to wrap up. Um, I'm going to uh, actually, I want to unmute everybody. 
so that we can, well, we'll tell everyone what the next step is. So if anyone is interested in starting their essential oils journey with us, we would absolutely love to share with you. There's a couple of ways, if anyone doesn't know how doTERRA works, it's very similar to Sam's Club or Costco. We, you open up a wholesale account, it's only $35, and then you get the same prices that we get. Um, you, it doesn't matter if you're a wellness advocate or a wholesale customer, you get the same discounts, 25% off. So uh, $35 for the wholesale membership, or if you want to purchase a kit and get started with some of our basics, which pretty much uh, the, the, all of the 10 basic oils we talked about in all the recipes, you would be able to get started with just about every recipe we mentioned with one of our starter kits. And the $35 fee is waived if you do purchase a starter kit. Uh, just, con we're gonna unmute everybody and you can just sort of- But I also think, you know, if you wanna, if you wanna have we, a gave a, we gave a summer, this is a summertime specific uh, presentation. lecture and presentation. Mm -hmm. But uh, doTERRA to, to me is more than just a, a specific topic. And I think if we're just wrapping it up, everybody should know like our toothpaste that we use is, is a fantastic cinnamony. It's on guard. On guard mm -hmm. a toothpaste. And we've even used uh, the bentonite clay and we've used all kinds of different homemade tooth, toothpaste. This one's, this one's a, a really good toothpaste. And there are, at, yeah. there are lots of Endless. products. <laughs> outside of specific to summer activities that doTERRA provides that I think have worked really well for me. And I've been incredibly pleased. I'm a really tough critic and, and I like my stuff to be. So we also, this is our very first webinar. We did it uh, specific to summertime, but we're going to be doing also, I think some cleansing. intro we've done. Cleansing detox. classes, cleanse and detox, um, intro to essential oils. So if anybody is interested in those, we will be following up with you guys and getting you connected to the information because mm -hmm. that is what we really want to do is educate and empower you. And that's why I was trying to throw that little nugget in there about like it's more than just this one presentation. Absolutely. So um, what we will do here, let me, I'm just going to try to, it keeps like so I would wrap it up and we can answer I'm questions because sometimes people don't want the questions on right and we want to thank you obviously for taking an hour out of your evening to spend with us crazy people <laughs> and um, here we go oh, I hear people so again go. go ahead and we can end this video thank you all very much well here hold on let me stop share there we go and then the We're not going to end the meeting. Oh, you, you want to just recording. end the recording. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go ahead and stop the recording now.